today, I'm Kimberly Hayes with the National Organization for Women, and we are at our national conference, Feminist Agenda Rising, Our Time Is Now, and I am joined by... My name is Janet Cobb, and I am the state president of Indiana Now. Wonderful. And how long have you been coming to these types of conferences? Uh, I joined Indiana, or actually I joined Now when I lived in Oregon in 2003, I think. Excellent. And I've been coming into conferences for about 10 years now. Wonderful. And what kind of inspired you to come this year? What was like one of the things you were really looking um, forward to? Well, the discussion about racism was something I was really interested in. Um, I read both of the books that were recommended, and one of the struggles that um, we've, been, we've had in Indiana now especially is just how to engage people of color and in a way that is not an issue of tokenism yeah. or but, a real um, discussion. Yes, yeah. a real discussion and, and, and really the personal internal work that each of us need to do. Um, in relation to racism. And have you been to either on the book discussions yet? Or I went to the one book? about white fragility. Yes. yes. It was a good, robust was, discussion. Yeah, it was a good discussion. Absolutely. Yeah, actually, I hope that we do more of these going forward. Yes, one yes, I really, I would like that. Yes. And how about, yeah, you know, like our theme is feminist and gender rise, and what other than the, the, the racism and the um, book discussions are you looking forward to? I'm really interested in talking yeah, to um, women from all over the country and finding out what they're doing for the upcoming um, celebration of the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. I sort of have this sort of ethereal idea that hasn't really come together to a solid plan yet about what I'd like to do in Indiana. And so I'm sort of looking to kind of bounce ideas off of people and share ideas and um, to see what we can do. And so I think it's important that we celebrate this big milestone, but we also really need to acknowledge the history of racism within the suffrage movement. And I would sort of like to use this as not just be a celebration on that day, but as a way of realize of helping us all realize that that the work is not done, that this is the hundred year anniversary of white women getting right. the vote, and that there are whole swaths of, popul of people who frankly do not have the same voting rights that I have, yeah, that I enjoy, and there is lots of work to do. And any other advice you would give to uh, women, maybe, or people getting into women's issues, getting into feminism, thinking about joining now, any other well, advice you would give? Well, when I first joined, I um, had sort of a mentor, and, and I said, there's so much, how do I do it yes, all? Yes. And she said, you can't do it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to, you, you find what you feel passionate about, and that's what you work for, and that's what you advocate for. And of course, you know, there will be people in your chapters that are passionate about other things, yeah. and you can support them, yeah. but you don't have to be the person who That's does everything. everything. That's yeah. wonderful advice. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.